we couldn't win the championship in the sweep last game so now looks like we're gonna have to take care of business at home in game five let's see if we can do it as you see there was no well getting the team fired up getting oracle fired up as they know we are one victory away from winning the elusive nba championship the one thing that every player wants is that ring so let's see if we can do it and let's see if we can win this championship right here tonight oracle as the crowd is just rocking the night as always Drummond with that missed free throw. So here comes Iggy. And you know Iggy on the fast break. Good things happen as Clay hits a three. To get us up that lead. And now we're up by six. Or actually up 6-2. And now we miss a free throw. And now here come the Pistons the other way. And oh! Josh Smith turning back the clock with that jam. The lefty jam posterizing Iggy. But Iggy comes right back with that pump fake on him. And then he drives to the basket. Should have been an and one right there, but it's all good. Now end of the first, Danny Green trying to find trying to find his way through. Misses, but Fesses Azili with the putback. Doing the little Cam Newton Superman. So that got us the lead to get into the second. Now we're tied at 20 apiece. And Steph trying to get separation off the pick and roll. And, do and does just that with a splash. Three point right there to get us up by three. And now here comes Jenny trying to respond back. No good. Here we go back the other way. Curry trying to find anybody or better yet go off that screen and hit another three. Back to back three for Steph. So now we're up by four. Less than five to play. Steph, they worried about that three so the pick and roll works with Norris Noel. Great feed from Curry and Noel jams it right past Josh Smith. So now we're up by seven. Jennings trying to respond back, do it, working a little dribble magic. He finds an open shooter. He misses, but oh, Greg Monroe with the putback jam. So now we're up by four with a little bit over a minute to play. Iggy trying to find somebody. Somehow gets that pass to Steph. Steph just going to chuck up a three, and he knocks it down again. So Steph has made four shots, and all of them have been from beyond the arc. So he's feeling it from three point. And now here comes the other Curry brothers. Seth Curry with the crate with the unbelievable crossover on the fast break. Did you see that? So now we're heading into the second half. We're up by nine now. Look at Josh Smith take a ridiculous shot, but I guess because the shot clock was winding down, he had to take it. So now we're up the other way. Look at the bounce pass from Clay to Iggy. So now we're sitting comfortably right now. 13 point lead. Josh Smith takes another terrible shot with two defenders in his face. So we're back the other way and look at Iggy. Iggy jamming it on the fast break. I thought it was going to be a contact layup, but he just jams right through the contact. So now we're up by nine, still sitting comfortably with the lead. Fighting Sean Marion for three. Knocks it down with that awkward quick release. So now end of the third, about to approach. Four seconds left. We're trying to move the ball around. Find a Danny Green open for three. So Shane Baddy getting that crowd pumped up. There he can feel a championship maybe underway. As now we're up by eight. With less than six minutes to play in the fourth. And look at that bounce pass from Steph to Nerlens Noel. Bringing us up to ten. Now the lead's cut down to eight. Josh Smith will let him take that shot. Ah, he makes it though. And they both fixing their armbands at the same time with Iggy. So... Now they cut the lead to six and all oh, bad defensive mismatch or bad matchup rather. I don't know confusion cuts the lead to three now with Jennings hitting that three and now Steph misses a three and uh oh here comes Detroit. We have to close this game out. Are we gonna let slip away like last time? And look at this. Oh, he just dribbled the ball the whole time and then just laid it in. So now the lead's cut down to one. Three minutes to play. We have to seal the deal here. Clay Thompson for three. No, splash. Knocks it down. Oracle is getting a little anxious right before that shot. But now they're getting pumped again. We're up by two now. Here comes Steph. Off the pick. Gets blocked by Monroe. Uh-oh. Crowd getting anxious again now. Less than two. A little over two minutes to play rather. Jennings trying to find somebody. Gets the ball right back. And Josh Smith. No way. For three. Oh. The one shot we let him take for three. And it goes in. 
Oh my goodness, the Pistons get the lead now. Less than a minute and a half to play. Iggy, he has that mismatch down the paint and he lays it in. So now we're up by one. And now with 30, with about 30 seconds to play, this shot here could maybe seal it. S Steph, trying to find some room. Jennings playing pretty good initial D. Steph, step back three. No good. And Detroit gets the rebound, calls timeout. Uh-oh. So now this is pretty close now. Down to the wire, 15 seconds. Monroe posting over Aldridge. He missed it. And they get the rebound with the foul. 10 seconds left. Now eight and a half seconds left. Clay made the first free throw. This is the second free throw attempt. It's no good. And they got Pistons. No timeout. So they're going to have to run the floor. Five seconds. Four. Three. Jennings dribbling. Trying to find some room. Go off the layup. Blocked. Blocked by Noel or Clay. Doesn't matter. We win the NBA championship. What a way to end the season. Wow. That could have been it. That could have been sent to overtime right there, but l great initial, de great late defense at the end. That's how you win an NBA championship with team defense right there. As Warriors celebrating with the crowd as we bring a championship home to Oakland, to Oracle for the first time, I think in like, whew, I believe like 30 years or something around there. I know, I know the last time they won a championship was like back in the 70s. And now Adam Silver presenting the trophy to the NBA champion, Golden State Warriors. Whew. I see Marcus can be an assistant. He's gonna actually go, he's actually gonna win a championship. Well, not as a player, but a coach. Well, it's been a crazy journey, guys. Three seasons it took us. Finally holding, hoisting up that Larry O'Brien trophy. As you can see, our head coach, Jeff Hornacek, celebrating with the team for an amazing accomplishment, amazing season. We found the right formula. We found the right teammates that worked as we are NBA champions now. As you can see, Steph Curry winning the finals MVP. So congratulations to him. Well deserved. So, well, as we end this off, end the season right now, I just want to tell you, thanks everyone for watching this series. As you know, NBA 2K15 is coming out soon. It's actually coming out tomorrow as I'm posting this video up. So if you guys want to see some NBA 2K15 clip, I'm going to have a new YouTube channel. If you guys want to know what the YouTube channel is, it's going to be Rick Redman. So I will actually post the, um, a YouTube description or I will post a link up for my U new YouTube channel. I'm going to be posting up new NBA 2K clips. I'm already, I've already posted up some Madden clips as well and also some FIFA. So if you guys want to see the new channel and see what it's all about, go take a look. Uh, I thought this is probably my last video, most likely on this channel as I want to migrate over to a new channel specifically for my gaming stuff. So go check it out. Rick Redman, as you can see the team stats. It's crazy because Detroit had zero turnovers. So that's amazing, but we still won. So thanks for watching an incredible series. Go check out Rick Redman as my new YouTube channel and new journey begins. Thanks for watching.